The European currency gained value in early trade yesterday, driving by inflation data from the euro area. Inflation in the region accelerated in October, with the Consumer Price Index reaching 2% year-on-year, up from 1.7% in September. Core inflation, which excludes volatile food and energy prices, remained in change at 2.7% year-on-year, slightly above economists' expectations of 2.6%. This reinforced expectations that the European Central Bank would be in a no hurry to cut interest rates, which in turn supported the euro. The eurozone unemployment rate came in at 6.3% in September, stable, to be stable compared to August and slightly below market forecast of 6.4%. This also bolstered demand for the European currency. However, the bullish trend reversed after the release of upbeat U.S. initial jobless claims data. The U.S. PCE price index, a gouge closely watched by the Federal Reserve, rose by 0.3% from the prior month in September and 2.7% from a year earlier. This report also backed up the greenback. In addition, U.S. personal income and spending climbed, suggesting continued price pressures. Now, let's take a look at a two-day macroeconomic calendar. It is by raft of any major reports from the euro area. The UK is scheduled to release data on housing pricings, prices and manufacturing activity. All eyes will be on U.S. unemployment and non-farm payrolls data. The unemployment rate is forecast to remain unchanged at 4.1% in October. The median estimate for non-farm payrolls for the month of October is 106,000, well below September's 254,000. If the actual reading is higher than the forecast, the US dollar is likely to strengthen in, with the case for the Fed to cut interest rates becoming less compelling. In case of disappointing data, the euro and the British pound will have a chance to recover, while the greenback will extend losses. Furthermore, traders may take notice of the US ISM manufacturing PMI. The index is expected to come in below the 50-point threshold, indicating counteraction in manufacturing activity which could add to pressure on the dollar. From a technical perspective, the one-hour chart shows that the euro-dollar pair is unlikely to see any strong price movement in the early hours of trading. A decline followed by a false breakout at 1.0866 will generate a strong buy signal, pushing the euro up to 1.0887. If the price breaks through and consolidates above this level, driving by weak US jobs data, the volume of long positions will increase. In this case, the euro will rise to 1.0915 and even 0.935. At this level, I recommend going short on the rebound to catch an intraday correction of 50-20 pips. Short positions at 1.0915 and 0.887 can only be considered after false breakout. If the euro falls after US statistics, Bulls are unlikely to regain control of the market around the 1.0846 mark. However, if US data exceeds analysts' forecasts, pointed to a stable labor market, the euro may dive deeper. In this case, it would be wise to go long at 1.0813 on a false breakout or at 1.0788 on a rebound in anticipation of 25.30 pip correction. Speaking of the British currency, market sentiment is clearly bearish, weighed down by the government's recent decision to raise taxes. It looks like only a dismal U.S. jobs report can hold this slide. If the U.S. figures fi and are better than expected, sterling is likely to continue its decline. Therefore, it is not worth rushing into long positions. With a live macroeconomic calendar in the first half of the day, a false breakout at 1.2875 will generate a buy signal, driving the British pound up to 1.2904.
If the price breaks through and consolidates about this mark, buying activity will increase, paving the way for further gains to 29.32, 29.61 and even 29.96. However, these levels can only be reached after the release of U.S. data. At the levels of 1.2996 and 29.61, traders are advised to go short on the rebound to catch an intraday correction of 25.30 pips. Alternatively, bears may, may regain control of the market at the 29.04 level. This would generate a sell signal and drag selling down to 28.75. If the price breaks through this level and tests it from below on the back of strong US statistics, the British pound is expected to hit a new one month low. At a below 28.45, we'll open the door to 28.00 and probably 1.2764. At this level, I recommend going long on the rebound in anticipation of 35.40p move. Going long at 28.45 and 28.00 will only be relevant after a false breakout. Good luck to all. Have a great weekend.